Okay, today we're going to be looking at aliases and how to, um, you know, bypass them when need be. So here's an example. If I type ls, it's going to list out the files in the directory. There's three uh, files in the current directory. Now let's say I like this command and I use it often. ls -l -h -a, that's um, the list view, human readable, and all, I believe. I hit that, it's going to give me a view like this, which gives me a lot more information on the files. Let's say I, I want to use that as my default ls command. I can say alias ls equals, and inside single quotes or double quotes, I can say ls and give it those uh, functions. Now if I type ls here, uh, you can see it runs that command. So, uh, well I have different settings in my bash rc file, so I lost my color settings in there, but that's, that's not uh, what we're talking about today anyway. So now anytime I type ls, it's going to run that full command. But let's say I have that set, but now I do want it to just display the file names. Yeah, do I I can unset the um, the variable by use or the alias by saying unalias ls. And now if I ls, you can see it's back to the default ls command. Uh, but let's go ahead and re-enable it. First off, unaliasing. Now it's like, now if I want that back, I have to re-alias again. And un unaliasing also un only unaliases it for um, the current session. So if I start up a new session of Bash and that alias is my Bash RC file, it's going to be re-enabled in the next session. All I want is to be able to quickly, you know, I always want it to be like this, but occasionally I want it to be the old way. Well, there's a few different ways to do that. First way, so ls does this, but if I want to use the default ls command, I can give it the full path to the ls command. Uh, well, I, for, I can use the command command, which we've talked about in the past. I can say command, uh, command, I can say command ls, and it's going to run the actual ls command, not our alias. Uh, and then uh, the ls command can also be, that's a little bit long, what is what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry. I'm losing my train of thought. Typing the command is a little bit long, so there's other ways. You can also put the ls command in double quotes or single quotes. See, again, if I do it without those, it prints it the long list. Another option, that's probably the easiest, is to backslash ls. Another way would be to type out the full path of the command. So, like, it would be uh, usr bin ls, which I don't actually think, yeah. Uh, where is ls? Uh, so let's do bin ls. So I could do that. I could type out, I, if I knew where the the command was, and it's either going to be usr bin ls or bin ls, uh, it's going to be in one of those folders. Could could be somewhere else as well. Um, so again, I have this alias set. I just want to temporary just this one time bypass it. I can backslash it. I can put it in quotations, single or double. I can type command ls, or I can type out the full path to the command so it avoids the alias. And again, you can unalias it, which turns it off for this entire session. Uh, but if it's in your bash rc file or, or z shell rc file or whatever, it's going to be re enabled the next time you start a new shell. So keep those in mind. Thought you might find that useful because aliases are great, but sometimes you want to go back to the default command. And I, I personally think just the backslash would be the easiest. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description of the video. Uh, please check out my website. Search through all my videos. Find what you're looking for. I have thousands of videos. You can also support me, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000 or through PayPal. Support section on my website there. So, I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com and I hope that you have a great day.